I am Randy Robinson. Welcome to Life Today Digital Edition. I'm here with Rich Wilkerson, and we uh, we have to say senior now, yeah. <laughs> which is great. Yeah, and you know, Randy, my, my question is, why do we have to say senior? I had Rich Wilkerson first. Right. So I named my kid Junior, yeah. and doesn't he have to identify himself? Yeah, well, I he, don't have to identify myself. He sat there, and, and we did say Junior. <laughs> yeah. So, But your book does say Senior. And they I wanna, made me. <laughs> yeah, they, that's yeah, they that's did. hysterical. Yeah. Uh, I Choose Honor is the name of the book. And um, that's an interesting topic. You don't hear a lot of teaching on honor. It almost seems antiquated. What do you mean by honor? People get the words mixed up, respect, honor, honor, respect. In fact, usually you look in the dictionary, under respect has honor, Mm -hmm. under honor it has respect. The way I interpret it is that I can respect you from a distance, Mm -hmm. but it's hard to honor you from a distance. That's something I do up close. Mm -hmm. And uh, honor, in my humble estimation, incorporates two Jesus components that Jesus was known for. Humbleness of heart or humility, and servant leadership. Hmm. And when I meet you, I I do my best to find something that I can relate to you, to open a door that I can honor you in. That's what I do with my friends, but that's what I wanna do with people that I don't even know. That's honor. It's, It's done up close. I can respect you from a distance and never meet you. When I meet you up close, it has to start with honor in my way of looking at it. And that's kind of the way, what the book is all about. What's the difference between, you know, kind of telling somebody <laughs> what they want to hear so that you get something out of them yeah. or, or just being phony and, and true honor? Yeah. Well, kissing up really comes from a Greek word for worship uh, in the New Testament. The, the word that is used over 50 times in the New Testament for worship is the Greek word proskuneo. Mm-hmm. And the metaphor that's used in the uh, definition of that word is uh, a dog licking its master's hand. Mm-hmm. Now, if the dog has been beat by that master, there's not going to be any licking the master's hand. Mm-hmm. But that loving animal that loves its master is, you know, and, and there's a term that literally talks about kissing upward. And that's another form of worship. We're worshiping the Lord. We're, we're li- it's just, you know, I love you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. You're talking the, the, the real definition, the pure definition. Yeah. And know. I used it to, to get people going, <gasps> what's he? What's he? Because right. that's what we all think. We always think of I mean, the what I want to say is sucking up. We all, yeah. <laughs> right? we, 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 always, we always think of that term kissing up in a bad ter- way. Right. You know, you, you're nice to your football coach when you're in junior and senior high school because you want to maybe get a better position sure. on the team right. or, or you're nice to a teacher with a red apple. Mm. And so kids would always hear kissing up, you know, but that's, that's biblically speaking, that's what honor is. It, it's, it, it's acknowledging that you're better than me. See, we always have a tendency if we're not careful to think that in some cases we're better than someone else. Honor never approaches another human being that way. We're all God's people. And we just, we love each other. And I'm going to look at you as someone that can help me if I'll honor you. Mm-hmm. you know? I dare say we can only do that properly when we're not in it for ourselves. Totally. Which, you know, you mentioned the humbleness of heart. You can't have a humbleness of heart if I'm trying to work you to get what I want totally. from you. You know, yeah, honor really doesn't have much of an agenda. Let's see there. That's yeah. key. I think yeah. that's key. Remember... Uh, I loved about, remember the, the Pope, um, John Paul II? Mm-hmm. I loved that guy. He was the, the Pope, if you remember, he would get off his airplane in a foreign, usually a third world country, and he would walk to the bottom of the steps. He would kneel down uh, on the tarmac, and usually the president of the country or the king of the, you know, and he would get down and he would kiss the earth. Mm-hmm. And what he was saying is, I honor you. It's yeah. an honor for me to be with you. When they had all come because the Pope is right. here, right away he would hit the ground. I always thought that was wonderful. Yeah. It was, it was, it just seemed to be so much like a Jesus move. You know what I'm saying? Randy? Yeah, it, that's a powerful image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So w- one of the things you, you talk about is creating these circles of honor. Yeah. Explain what those are. Let's look at Jesus. Jesus starts in the Godhead. What an incredible circle of honor that was. Bible says in Genesis 1, 26, let us, 
God's talking. Let us. Who? There's no one on the planet. <laughs> We're not talking about the planet. Let us, Father, Son, Holy, make man in our own image. So, so he had a tremendous circle of honor. From, from there was no beginning. Always that that's the way the Godhead lives. Then he comes to Earth and he, he honors his parents. You know the story in, in Luke chapter two where they go, you know, to Jerusalem for the feast day. Mm -hmm. And mom and everybody's coming back. It's probably about 60 people in the crowd heading back to Nazareth. And she figured, we lost Jesus. Can you imagine losing God? Anyway, uh, so they freak out. They go back to Jerusalem. They look everywhere but the temple. Finally, they end up in the temple. And there he is. And she is kind of freaking out. I, I don't mean to be a little, but I mean, she's, how could you do this? Right. And I think Jesus was surprised because he was honoring his father. He was there, you know. But the Bible says in, in Luke chapter two, verse 51, he went back with them to Nazareth and obeyed his parents. All right, so he, he backs down and goes back to serve and to honor and to obey. And the next verse says, and he grew in stature and wisdom with God and man. So the way you begin to learn to be the man, the woman that God wants you to be is you, you, you honor your, you find a way to change that. If you hate your mother or your father, find a way to change the narrative, hmm. all right? And then of course, we go to the disciples. And here he is taking his clothes off and wrapping them around his waist at the Last Supper. And he washes these dirty, stinking earthlings fungus-filled, toenail feet. The <laughs> lowest part in a Middle Easterner's mind is the feet. Yeah. Remember when President Bush had the guy in the Middle Eastern and the guy the threw shoe. both shoes. Mm -hmm. He was dishonoring the president. Yeah. Well, the truth is that Jesus washes their feet. One of them was Judas. Mm -hmm. Honored him. Mm. Then he honors the outcast. He's got another circle people that are unlovely, demon-possessed people. I mean, Mary Magdalene, he cast seven demons out of her. Then she turned into one of his big funders of his ministry. Someone that people would say there's no hope. He says, oh, there's plenty of hope. Yeah. I'm gonna need her help financially. <laughs> <laughs> cast it. He, he never looked over anyone, the demoniac yeah. of Gadaria. And then finally, the fifth would, would be the church. He, The founder of the church is Jesus. Yeah. and and he honors us. When we rebel, when we're lousy, when we're a terrible bride, he reaches down, he loves. And I think in our own lives, we have to look for those people, uh, make sure we start it in the home, make sure we have a good relationship with the Lord, have it in the home, change the narrative, have a group of people that you're pouring into, and then reach to those that other people say are unlovely. Oh, that's my team. Mm -hmm. And then love is church, you know. Yeah. So I, I'm getting a real strong sense that, uh, you know, when we talk about honor, we usually look at the person and say, you know, there's not a lot of, I, I would honor there. Or they do something so bad that I, I just can't honor that. But I'm getting from you that honor is not about the other people as much as it is about us. It's something we do for them because it's right to honor, not necessarily because they're worthy of it. And it, I mean, they are in a sense, but they aren't in a sense. Is that, is that right? I just finished five years of seminary. I just, <laughs> just defended my dissertation. I have a couple makeup classes. God willing, I'll graduate in December. But <laughs> in every class, every theology class, a seminary student studies the Imago Dei, the image of God. Mm -hmm. and the fact that all of us have the Imago Dei stamped in us in some capacity. Right, right. And we don't look at someone from the outside in. We look someone, we always approach looking for the Imago Dei mm. in Randy, in Rich. Mm. So if someone is what society would call a bum on the street, I say, I'm gonna find the Imago Dei in that person. Mm -hmm. He, she is made in the image of God. Yeah. We all bear that. Whether we're Christian or not, there's still an Imago Dei there. I'm gonna love every human. I'm gonna to reach to them with the love of Jesus. 
until they're healed yeah. by the grace of God. Yeah. I'm not even going to jam my faith down. I'm going to love them like Jesus loved <laughs> with God's help. That's a great perspective to have. What's the website for the books? People that want to get a little yeah. more detail on what yeah. you're talking about. That's pretty uh, big. <laughs> I choose honorbook.com. I choose honorbook.com. Great. I don't want to throw anybody off, but it is in every Walmart store in the country. Okay, I just thought I'd throw it in there. So <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Pick it up wherever you like to get books. And I'll tell you one more thing. You can see more from this man and hear more about honor on the Life Today broadcast program, which is on the air and also available anytime at lifetoday.org. Hey, thanks for watching. Please share this video, follow us on social media, and subscribe to this channel.